This is Mr. Mark and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Trends which is a free tool that you can use to determine what products to sell and when to sell them. To get to Google Trends you simply go to trends.google.com you then type in a search term for instance hats and once you do that it will bring you to this page. This shows you by default the results in the United States for the past 12 months as a web search. Okay, a web search on google.com. As you can see, there's a graph which is displaying the relative search interest for this item. In other words, it shows you how the search interest of this item has changed over time. This is when it's at its highest, when it's at 100, right? And this was where it is at its lowest for the past 12 months. Now, one thing you can do is if your market is outside or bigger than the United States you can actually change the country for instance if you're selling uh, worldwide you may be interested in what people are searching worldwide or how many people are searching for hats worldwide okay so here again we can see the popularity and we see how it goes up and down as you point to different sections on the graph it actually shows you the date range and what you mainly want to look for is the peaks you want to see when this product is being sold the most. Now this particular product is always or usually above 75 so this is what I would consider to be an evergreen product. A product that is popular all year. It's always popular. It's evergreen. However, let's take a look at some other examples. For instance, I'll show you let's say suitcases. As you can see, suitcases had a high interest, okay, high search interest in July of 2018, July 15th to July 21st. And you can see that it is again up this July, July 7th to July 13th. Okay, and this is really no surprise being that a lot of people travel in the summer. So I, for instance, on uh, my eBay store, I have been able to sell a number of suitcases um, in June and July. Okay, I listed a number of suitcases and I was able to sell them because this is a time that suitcases are popular. Um, I'd like to show you something else, which is that you can actually change the time range. Okay, one really good idea is to look at the past couple of years. Now, you could use past <coughs> five years, which will show you how the search interest, all right, has been over the past five years and the importance of doing this is that you will get to see the pattern so if you see that a product spikes every single July every single year for the past five years then it's pretty obvious that July is a good time to sell this product so if you're selling this product alright and if you have a store whether it's a physical store online store this would be you know a good time to have this particular a product now of course this is a very general uh, category you then have to find more specific products and you can uh, have to see what the popularities of those particular products all right using other methods as well but in general this lets you know that suitcases in general are very popular at this these particular times of year okay so uh, you can also use custom time range and what I will often do is just look at the past two years because it's just a little bit easier to analyze a shorter amount of time and I'll change this to January 1st oops 2017 so I'll look at the past two years All right, and it might be a little easier in some cases to do that now what I'd like to show you is that I have an actual Google Sheet which will be shared in the description of this video. I will also uh, download it and convert it to an Excel file that you can download from my site. And uh, I use this to try terms, to examine the Google Trends results, and then to make notes on it. Right. So, for instance, hats. Right. I type in a category, which is apparel. I put hats, and then there's a link I've created that when you click that link it will automatically perform the Google Trend search and you'll see the results in the United States for the past 12 months then it's up to you if you want to look at the past five years or if you want to use as I showed you before the custom time range to look at the past two years or what have you uh, you can also see grills for instance 
We'll take a look at grills. And you see that grills, okay, not very popular. You can see it's quite low for most of the year. However, it's quite high in the summer, right? So June and July, which makes sense because people mostly barbecue in the summer, right? This is within the United States. Again, this is within the U.S., okay? If you're in another country or if you're selling to people within a different country, you might want to change this and see the results for that, for your own market, okay? Um, past 12 months, again, I can look at the past five years, and I see for the past five years that it spiked here kind of a bit in May, June, July, right? So it's pretty much popular in May, June, July. And then on this Google Sheet, you have the option, right, if you wish, uh, of making notes. So I could make notes here, popular in the summer, for instance, right? I mean, that's something you could do. Or uh, another thing I added are columns for months with check boxes. So if you want to check off certain months to say, okay, it's popular in May, June, and July, you can do that as well. All right, and by doing that, um, later on as you fill your list, what you'll be able to do is to uh, just concentrate on certain months, right? On certain, uh, for instance, um, if it's May, let's say it's May, well, it is, well, it's July, right? You'll be able to actually filter and just look at the July results, right? So um, as your list builds, of course, if your list is short, you can pretty much just look at it and uh, see which months correspond to the um, to your search phrase, right? Okay, so again, let's take a look at backpacks. I'll click on that. Okay, here's another item where you see it was very high in July 2018. Okay, um, I might assume that it will spike again this July, but just to really be sure, I'm going to look at the past five years. And look at that. Every single year for the past five years, I have spikes. August, July, late July into August, late July, right? I just point to these and look at the time range. Late July, late July. Every single late July going into early August, there is a spike in the search interest of backpacks okay so pretty obvious that a good time to sell backpacks would be in late July going to early August so you'd want to start listing them by early July I would suppose right you want to start listing stuff in July right so that sometime within July and I've actually been able to sell a few backpacks already but I would imagine um, that I might expect an increase in people buying backpacks later on uh, this month because today is July 14th okay um, so you get an idea of how this works and again this is uh, something that you can use to help you so I'll put here July August right is the two times that this sells so this is just an aid all right where you can list all right use categories it's very important to use a category when your list gets long okay I have this set where it can go you can store up to 50 all right, you could add more. Um, if you know how to copy, drag, uh, copy and paste this down, you can just drag this down. All right, to add more items, but I have it preset for 50 uh, phrases. All right, um, and this is an option you can use. You just list your phrases, you can check the trends and make your notes. Um, also, I would like to show you, I am currently put in, have been putting together a list of trending products for summer, July 2019. So I'll give you the link to this on my page where I start to list some things that seem like they were quite popular for the summer. And they're probably going to be popular every summer because these are very summer related things. Okay, hibachi grill, lawn chairs, all right, um, inflatable boats. I mean, these are different things you can take a look at. Okay, charcoal, propane. You can check these for yourself to see uh, fine items that are really uh, spiking for the summer. All right. Uh, suntan lotion obviously is going to be much higher this uh, time of year as you can see it was much lower all right um, in the earlier months in the United States okay and now it's much higher okay in the description of this video you will find a link to a page where you can get a copy of this Google sheet 
or the Excel file for this Google Trends research tool. Also, I will have a link to my list of trending products for summer July. Again, this updates um, live from a Google Sheet, which you can also get a copy of the Google Sheet at that particular moment by clicking on this button when you get onto this web page. And uh, also, there will be a link to another video and another resource I have, which is a eBay profit calculator, Excel sheet. For those of you who have use for that, uh, feel free to leave any questions, comments, or otherwise on this video. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell on the right for further notifications. And I will see you in the next video.